It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a bottle here on the table. What do we have? We have Calumet Farm 10 Year. I think we're more familiar with like the 15 year, the 16 year. The 16 year actually went in our 25 most notable of 2022, mm. but now we're a little younger, a little less price I mean, also. Just, let's not be, <laughs> you know, hasty here. 10 years is not young. Yeah, no, not at all. Pause for cork pop. Uh, pop. <laughs> Maybe the 16 year little, would be more of a more pop. Of <laughs> All right, so 100 proof, non-chill filtered, again, mm -hmm. 10 years old. Yeah, 50 barrels is what goes in to make this small batch. Let's see what we got here. Mm. I like that uh, caramel, but with the spice there. And, yeah, there's and, a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of the wood. It's got kind of a sweet and savory thing. Yeah. Yeah, those light caramels and vanillas, but with like a little bit of, yeah, oaky, peppery. Mm -hmm. Pretty classic nose is what I would yeah. call it. Fairly classic. You know, it smells light and approachable like I would expect 100 proof to smell. Yeah, but with that, you know, decent amount of age of, of 10 yeah, years. Yeah, it has some body on the nose. Okay. All right then, to your health. I still feel that duality on the palate. Like there's this sweet, traditional caramel, vanilla, light, airy thing going on, fighting against a little bit more of like an oaky, peppery, I don't know, dry wood note. I see what you're saying. I get that more as it goes into the finish because it does go, you know, deeper into the barrel. That uh, that pepper spice, mm -hmm. I feel like it's throughout. It's starting to go a little bit into a, a fruit at the end. There is a little bit of a fruit note. If you don't let that barrel kind of overtake it. What is it like, a, almost like a peach? For me, it's more of like a really ripe pear. You know, it's light, over, it's not too overpowering. Like I feel like peach has a really, I don't know, peach is a really peach flavor. It's very, it's a strong flavor, whereas I feel like pear is more of a muted fruit flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not talking about like syrupy canned pears, but just like a really ripe, yeah. biting into a really ripe pear. Like uh -huh. you get that sweetness, but it's not too overly mm. fruity. Yeah. Second sip. I am liking a lot more than the first. That happens often, right? You get mm -hmm. acclimated to it, right? But I'm just getting um, more of a hug. It's now settled down into a nice Kentucky hug. It's also staying in the mouth, that peppery spice. The the fruit element, I feel like, is more powerful on the second sip. It's not as oaky, not as... I thought maybe this was going to be a little bit dry, but after the second sip, I don't feel like it really is. I think it's a little bit dry. Well, yes, a little bit, but not as dry as I thought it was going to be on that first sip. I like components of it, but I don't know if I love it as a whole. Like, I would say just from this first impression, it's not one that I am head over heels for, but it has good qualities. It's very solid, yeah. What's the price point on this? Well, this is actually a bottle, Sarah, if you remember, that we got on our Louisville I bourbon hunting them. trip. Uh, if I remember right, I was thinking it's around 72, 77. There was mm. definitely a seven in there. <laughs> I was thinking it ended up being around $80 with well, tax, tax and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So for $80, I really want to like something. Sure. Uh, and it's not that I dislike it. I just, I'm just kind of lukewarm about it. Like I, I like it just fine, but would I like, and I, we always throw this out there, but would I like you know, something like a rare breed. A little over half the price less, higher proof, yes. It's So it's not, you know, apples to apples comparison. Correct. But still I'm saving money and I'm getting hmm. something with more proof, less age, or Wait more limited. Minute. Wait a minute, are you gonna say? The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, okay, not what I thought you were gonna say. Something that is, <laughs> If this roughly the same price, if not maybe just a little bit cheaper, harder to find, also two years older. Yeah, correct. Because this is what, well, in my mind, it's fighting against. Sure. And there is one other comparison. There is, about that ledge crack barrel proof real quick. Um, I feel like that's what our minds go to, uh, and probably a lot of your alls too, because we like barrel proof, but there's some people who, you know, 90 to 100 proof is their is their sweet spot. So then I think we have to bring in something that's gonna also be at that 100 proof range. And there's actually something that's also uh, uh, 10 years old, and mm. that would be Henry McKenna. Now- Did this just become a drink this or that? <laughs> a little bit. I'll get my glass. Well, we didn't want to do an official drink this or that, because this is so hard to come by. And that's what I'm sure some people are, fingers are on the keys, like- yeah, Hating, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Comparison. Comparison, but can't find it. And that's why we didn't do a drink this or that. But we do want to know. I have to, but we saw some of this recently on the shelves. And it was like a we limit did. one. And it was about, what, $55, $60. Yeah. So it, it used to be, I remember the oh days when I could buy it for $28.99. <laughs> 
Uh, that was not that many years ago, maybe like four or five years ago. We got one actually in our Louisville hunting video as See? well. See, it's not that hard. At the distillery. I know, I'm uh, just kidding. Here, I'll do the same. Let's just keep in mind that even marked up, these will probably be around the same price. Same proof. Mm, that's true, yeah. Same age. This is bottled in bond. This is not bottled in bond. Let's get the calumet. Uh, you ever heard some people call it calumet? No. <laughs> <laughs> My, it's my, like someone saying uh, Louis, Louisville or uh, I mean, well, a lot of people Versailles do. around yeah, a lot here. Of people, do. people look at you like, uh, what did you just say? No, my friend Kevin said, I always thought it was Calumet. Calumet? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Is this episode wrong? Are we going to get made fun of? Probably. Well, we it say, wouldn't be new. We say Louisville, which is correct. We say Versailles, which is correct, according to the people who live there. Louisville. So I would say this is Calumet here in Kentucky. If you say Ville, Louisville, even then I feel like people will look at you funny. Louisville, yeah, you gotta Louis just Louisville, 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 Louisville. 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 Just <laughs> jam it all together. Have you ever been to Louisville, La Kentucky? Culture. Uh, back to the Cal. Oh, I thought you were cheersing. Calumet. One criticism about this um, would be, I wish it had a fuller feel, a fuller body, better mouthfeel. I mean, I like the flavors, I like the finish, uh, I like you know everything about it, except it's a little thin. Ish. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're kind of getting at what I was saying. Like, I like components of it, but all together, it just doesn't. I don't know if it really comes together in a meaningful way that I would need something of this price point to deliver on. In a meaningful way. Yeah. Okay, the. Uh... But before we do, we want to pause oh. and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. Gotcha! It's where you can get uh, the t shirt that I'm wearing. Sarah, the hoodie that you are wearing. Yeah, this is the Angel Share hoodie. I'm not going to try The turn full around. Angel Share logo there on the back. Also, hats, Glen Karens, Copitas, crystal cut Glen Karens, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our barrel picks. Lots of those coming out soon. The opportunity to participate in barrel picks, discounts on that merch depending on your tier, after the episode exclusives, and more. Whoa, we'll be right back. Okay, the McKenna. The nose on the McKenna. I think it smells mm, I richer that. and deeper. Yeah, agitated a little bit. It's not miles and miles apart, but if you ask me to pick blind off the nose, I would give it to this one. Okay, McKenna, to your health. For me, this one's easy. Uh -huh. Oh, we also failed to mention that this is a single barrel. That is true, yes. Um, so single results barrel, may vary. 50 barrels, yeah. Right, results may vary. A small um, batch, if yeah. you will. Uh -huh. hmm. I think that the McKenna has more of There's a mouthfeel, a, yeah. more of a coating. Yeah. And I think the finish is longer and it's not dry. Correct, yeah. Uh, we're going for that second sip though. Also, I think it comes across more layered, right? I'm getting more spices instead of just like one pepper note. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more fruit notes instead of just that one pear note. And I get the oak, mm. but it's playing really nicely with everything else. I don't feel like there's a yeah. divide between the savory and the sweet. Yeah, the McKenna is tasting more complex mm -hmm. to me. A lot of the same flavors. You know, this one also has a, a, a pepper spice, but it's not the only type of spice in there, uh, quicker to the Kentucky hug, better mouthfeel, yeah, a little bit more viscous. So we were kind of, you know, honestly hoping that we could say, hey, if you can't find a McKenna, here's the same age, same proof, close to it anyways. It doesn't look like that's the conclusion here. No, and I just went back from the McKenna to the Calumet and yep. it makes the Calumet, I mean, again, this is a comparison. This is like what we would do in a flight fight. I think it brings out a little bit of the harsher notes in the Calumet. It's a little bit, oh, like it becomes hmm. hotter and a little sharper. A little sharper. <laughs> but I feel like I'm being really hard on this bottle. Like, well, if you spend eighty dollars, if I spend eighty dollars on it, I'm gonna be hard on you it. Gotta be a little you know, critical, right? Right. I mean, and what, that's what we talk about. Anything that is, you know, over eighty, over a hundred, over one hundred and fifty. If I'm spending that money, like, if it's an obvious marketing ploy, then you're paying for some of that, and I think that's just something that you agree to mentally before you make a purchase. But if it's not that then I'm gonna hold you to a standard, you know, again, like because people are gonna make comparisons like this or yeah. they're gonna say like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. If I could get something that's two years older, higher proof and about the same price, harder to find, but mm -hmm. yeah. why not just hold out for that? Why not just save my money and put it towards something like that? Or why right. not look for something like this? There's other bottles we could have held this up to, um, one being the Russell's uh, 10 year, but that's oh. 90 proof. Maybe we should do that on Patreon. Maybe we'll do that in another round. Yeah, uh, there's or also- Eagle Rare, 10 years. Eagle Rare, also 10 year, 90 also proof. 90 proof. So the proof kind of would be a little bit of a disadvantage, but we could also try this up against, you know, the 14, 15 or 16 year. 
uh, that's true. Calumets. Do we need to do a 10 year flight fight? <sighs> yeah, I think we're due for an updated one for sure. But let's go back to uncorking mode here okay. and do the old recommend or not. Uh, 72 to $80, we'll say, um, for a, well, I mean, <sighs> specs wise for 2023 pricing. Specs wise? It's got it. This one's tough for me. I wouldn't be like, this is disappointing. Um, but it's just also not blowing me away. And I don't expect for it to blow me away like a limited edition. Right. What should blow you away when it costs that much and it is hard to find, they don't all. But $80 is the new $40. Oh, don't say that, Chad. Don't say it's that. It's trending that way, though. In the market, yes. My $80, I'm at the store. Am I going to buy this bottle again? I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I would not either. However, however, what I would say is this is a uh, a little bit of a splurge for your average bourbon drinker. Now, let me explain that. If you have a, a small collection, you're looking to get more or you're looking to take something a little bit more special to a bourbon night and you spent $80 on this, I don't feel like you're going to not like it. You know, you might not have a McKenna nearby to compare it to, or you might not have had the 14, 15, 16 year of the, of the Calumet. So if you do plop down $80 for this, if you're sort of like a casual bourbon drinker or just starting out, I don't think you're going to be disappointed because something happens when you spend your own money and you, and things taste better when you share it with friends anyway, right? So if you spent $80 on this, you took it to a bourbon night, everyone shared in a glass with it, you're having a good time. You're gonna enjoy this and you're gonna be like, I did not waste my $80. Hmm. Now, when you look at it in a more critical lens, like we tend to do because we- That's literally what we do. Have been doing the channel for a while and we have a lot of bottles. Then it's like, is this worth the $80? No, would not buy again. However, it's still good. I still enjoyed it. So well, you kind of- I yeah. have actually two more things to add. Sure. Uh, one being that if you are in the more of a 90 to 100 proof range and that's what you like and you, you know, but you like also some oak and this is probably a good bottle for you to have. If the specs fit your taste, then I think you should go for this. Uh, if you're still like, uh, I don't know, you guys said no, so I'm probably gonna pass on this one. Consider the 16 year. Like maybe take the $80 that you were gonna spend towards this and- Double it. <laughs> well, if you, if you're gonna do that, maybe set that aside and next month when your bourbon budget renews or whatever, consider the 16 year. Uh, or try that at a bar first and see right. if you're into it. Yeah, okay, I like that, I like that. So a couple different ways to, to look at this uh, 10 year old Calumet. All right, well, hey, that's where we gotta leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.